Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lair of the Overmind for another Diablo 3 build video. For this video I'm going to show you guys a build for the Witch Doctor that I'm calling the Molten Witch Doctor. Keeping uh, with the theme of fire damage bonus on your gear to make yourself do insane amounts of damage. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First off, we have Corpse Spiders with the Blazing Spiders rune, which will just basically turn the damage into fire and help us get extra damage out of it. We have Fire Bats, how could we not in a fire base build, with the Dire Bats rune, which will summon larger bats instead of a bunch of small bats, which will travel further and keep us out of harm's way. Uh, it was pretty much a toss-up between this and the Vampire Bats rune that makes you not have to spend more mana when you're trying to keep the skill going, but I think it's much better to keep yourself out of harm's way with a Witch Doctor. Uh, for our defensive here, we have Spirit Walk to get us out of trouble, and also we have the Umbral Shock Fire rune, so when Spirit Walk ends, we will explode for a whole bunch of damage to enemies pretty much right next to us. Uh, we have the Summon Zombie Dogs with the Burning Dogs rune, which will make our zombie dogs burst into flames, I believe, when they die. Uh, burning nearby enemies for 20% of your weapon damage is fire every second, which is pretty sweet. Um, let's see here, we have a Zombie Charger, which will have the Explosive Beast rune, and make sure that um, you can also keep your distance and do a bunch of damage. We have from Voodoo Gargantuan with the Bruiser Rune. This will make him able to slam enemies and stun them. This will help with elites if I'm not mistaken. Very very much so. Uh, down here for our passive skills we have Fierce Loyalty which gives you an additional zombie dog and uh, increases your movement speed when you're not in combat and you have your uh, main pets with you. We have Circle of Life, which uh, makes it to where when an enemy dies within 20 yards, you have a small chance to spawn a zombie dog. This will help you keep your pet count up and keep the attention on your pets as opposed to on yourself. We also have Zombie Handler, which will give you one additional zombie dog and gives you and your zombie dogs and the gargantuan a good health bonus. So that's the build uh, for the level 70 passive. If you want to use this one to give yourself an additional zombie dog and increase their damage, that would be very nice. However, uh, Jungle Fortitude is also a good candidate as your pets will not take as much damage. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and give this video a like if you like the build. If you have any suggestions on how I should switch up the skills to make the build a little bit more effective while still being focused on fire damage, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And of course, as always, if you would like to see more builds and Diablo 3 videos in general, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. Alright, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.